In this lecture, we are going to see the electrolyte concentration cell with transference, reversible to cations. With transference means what? Two solutions, solution one and solution two. These two solutions are mixed in one compartment. Okay, so there is only phase boundary is there. Phase boundary. Okay, so uh, this is very IMP uh, derivation. Uh, it can be asked, and reversible to cations means what? The electrode which we are going to choose uh, its cation its cation must be present in the solution or the electrolyte okay so these are the requirements so uh, first of all we will see the electrolyte concentration cell with transparent reverse, reversible to cation it can be represented like this so consider the following cell so this is platinum then this is hydrogen gas electrode h2 gas pressure okay then this is hcl which is having activity a1 this is phase boundary then this is another electrolyte of H hcl it is having activity a2 so these two solutions are mixed in one compartment and here the another hydrogen gas electrode and this is platinum so this is the cell electrolyte concentration cell with transparency reversible to cation because this is a hydrogen gas electrode and here h plus ions present in the uh, solution so this is reversible to cation okay so two hydrogen gas electrodes this hydrogen gas electrode is dipped in the HCl which is having activity A1 and this hydrogen gas electrode is dipped in HCl having activity A2 and further these two solutions are present in one compartment that means the both the gas electrodes are also present in the same compartment okay so the when we will get the AMF AMF of the cell can be related to the overall reaction that occurs so here a reaction occurs uh, when one faraday of electricity or current flows okay so for this cell the total amf total amf is composed of is composed of two single electrode potentials two single electrode potentials potentials that means this is ec which is equal to er minus el and plus the liquid liquid junction potential okay so whatever the total aim of this cell which is equal to these two single electrode potentials that is er minus el and liquid liquid junction potential that is designated as eg okay so further uh, what about the overall reaction the overall reaction overall reaction it is this will be the sum of it is the sum of electrode reactions electrode reactions and the junction reactions and the junction reactions that is reactions occurring at the junction that means it is the phase boundary okay so the reactions can be written separately so i hope up to this you have understood let's go further so this is the representation of cell keep in mind keep this in mind then 
we will see first the electrode reaction. So electrode reactions we know at left at left electrode oxidation occurs so one half H2 gives H plus plus H plus having activity A1 plus electron so this is oxidation okay and at right this H plus having activity A2 takes electron and it gives hydrogen so this is a reduction okay so uh, these two are the electrode reactions so whatever the so here we can write the overall electrode reactions electrode reactions okay so this electron electron get cancelled this H2 H2 get, gets cancelled so what is remaining H plus of activity A, A2 gives H plus of activity A1 okay so this is one this is this is overall electrode reaction okay now we'll see the junction reaction junction reactions okay so this is important point keep in keep uh, concentrated on this point when electrons flow flow externally externally so electrons flow through the circuit from left to right left to right and the current will flow from right to left from right to left so see here for give your focus here electrons flow externally through the circuit from left to right and current is flowing from right to left okay so this current of course it is not composed of free electrons this is not due to the free electrons but it is due to the negative ions that is Cl minus ion moving from right to left and positive ions that is H plus ions moving from left to right. Okay, so these these ions move across the junctions across the junction and whatever the reactions are occurring between these two are called the junction reaction now let me clear this now if t plus is transport number or transference number of h plus ion and t minus with the transference number transference or transport number of negative Cl minus ion okay then for every Faraday of electricity passing through the cell T minus mole of Cl minus ions of Cl minus ions will move will move to left ions will move to left okay because cell minus are I minus ions are moving from right to left so T minus mole of this cell minus ions move to left okay the whereas T plus which in turn means of that is T plus is equal to 1 minus T minus mole of H plus ions move to right move to right okay so the junction reactions are like this 
junction reactions are we can write T minus mole of Cl minus of activity A2 goes to left that is T minus mole of Cl minus of activity A1 okay so this is second reaction then 1 minus T minus mole of H plus from activity A1 from right to left from sorry from left to right goes to 1 minus T minus H plus to activity A2 so if you solve this we will get H plus A1 minus T minus H plus A1 very simple it gives H plus A2 minus T minus H plus A2 okay so this is third reaction so uh, one reaction we have seen that is electrode reaction or electric reaction this is second reaction and this is third reaction these two are the junction reactions okay so now if we combine electrode and injunction reactions we'll get final overall reaction like this so electrode electrode reactions electrode reaction is h plus a2 gives h plus a1 okay and the junction reactions are junction reactions are one h plus of activity a1 one minute minus t minus mole of h plus of activity a1 gives H plus of activity A2 minus T minus mole of H plus of activity A2 okay and the another junction reaction is T minus mole of Cl minus of activity A2 that we have written earlier goes to T minus mole of Cl minus to activity A1 okay so the overall cell reaction overall cell reaction that is we have uh, said earlier uh, it is the sum of electrode reactions and junction reactions so uh, this h plus of activity a1 and this h plus of activity a1 is get cancelled this h plus activity of a2 and this h plus activity of a2 is uh, cancelled now uh, whatever the T minus mole of H plus A2 this is on right side so this goes on left side becomes positive and this minus T minus H plus A1 which is on left side when it goes to the right side it will turn into the positive okay so I will write like this T minus in bracket the H plus A2 that is from, uh, that come from this side that's why it has become positive and this is minus sorry plus uh, this uh, T minus Cl minus A2 I am writing directly we have taken T minus outside so this T minus and this T minus came outside of the bracket and this H plus activity which was earlier negative when it came on the left side it uh, it has become positive so H plus A2 plus Cl minus A2 okay and is equal to uh, this uh, T minus this and T minus this will take common like this T minus and in bracket this minus H plus uh, A1 when it goes from the LHS to RHS it becomes H plus A1 okay plus this Cl minus A1 remains as it is 
okay so this h plus a2 and cl minus plus cl minus a2 it becomes t minus hcl a2 and this t minus h plus a1 plus cl minus a1 becomes t minus hcl a1 so this is overall cell reaction reaction number four so this reaction indicates that t minus mole of hcl of activity a2 have transferred to t minus mole of activity a1 so uh, the the substance is transferred from activity a2 to a1 from lhs to rhs for every faraday electricity or current passing through the cell okay so he in this uh, in the electrolyte concentration cell the standard amf of cell is equal to zero okay so the we will see hence the amf of cell amf of cell with transference with transference is written like this in bracket and the t means with transference if t is not there it can be treated as without transference so amf of cell with transference is equal to minus 2.303 rt divided by f because number of electrons in all in the reactions are 1 so log to the rest 10 here a1 t minus divided by a2 t minus since n is equal to 1 just now if you solve this we will get minus 2.303 rt divided by f will get log to the base 10 so a1 divided by a2 whole raised to t minus so t minus will come on uh, on this side so we'll get t minus minus 2.303 rt divided by f log to the base 10 a1 divided by a2 and if this a2 is taken on numerator and a1 is taken on denominator this minus sign will be cancelled so t minus is equal t minus 2.303 rt divided by f log to the base 10 and here a2 divided by m okay so this is another equation so amf of cell with transference Okay, so this uh, this equation derivation have this formula. So this is the AMF of electrolyte concentration cell with transference reversible to get time. Okay, and if the uh, the reaction to be spontaneous, reaction to be spontaneous, A two must be greater than A one then and then only the reaction will be spontaneous and the amu of cell is positive now for the electrolyte hcl we have a is equal to m gamma whole square okay where m is molality okay and gamma is activity coefficient activity coefficient and therefore the above equation written will be uh, written as amf of cell with transference is equal to t minus 2.303 rt divided by f log to the base 10 m2 gamma 2 whole square that is because due to a2 and divided by m1 gamma 1 whole square okay so again this becomes the square and this two comes on this side so amf of cell with transparency is equal to 2t minus 2.303 rt divided by f log to the rest 10 m2 gamma 2 divided by m1 gamma 1 okay so this is another in the form of molality and activity coefficient now 
the amf of cell with transparency can be calculated by knowing the molalities okay activity and activity coefficients and transport numbers transport or transference transport numbers of ions other than the electrode to which electrode is reversible that means here the electrode is reversible to cations that means you need to know the transport number of negative ion if the reversible is reversible to anion then you need to know the transport number of cation okay so here the electrode is reversible to h plus ion okay now if the same cell that we have written already uh, is made without transference is made without transference by using salt bridge salt bridge or eliminating liquid or by eliminating liquid liquid junction potentials the cell can be written like this so this is platinum h2 gas pressure here hcl a1 double vertical line that means use of salt bridge so that means these two solutions are not in contact with each other so this is without transference h2 gas pressure and platinum okay so here uh, since there is no liquid liquid junction so this is without transference and here only the electrode reactions are taking place so the electrode reactions if you solve uh, correctly you will get h plus of activity a1 h so a2 to h plus of activity a1 okay and the qa is equal to a1 divided by a2 okay and obviously the standard amf of cell is equal to zero in this case so the reaction will become the amf equation will become right like this amf of cell is equal to minus 2.303 rt divided by f okay because number of electrons is one log to the base 10 a1 divided by a2 okay and if we take a2 on numerator a1 on denominator this minus sign be sign can be cancelled so 2.303 rt divided by f log to the base 10 a2 divided by a1 okay so this is the equation now if in terms of uh, uh, molality and activity activity coefficient the amf of cell uh, one second is equal to 2.303 rt divided by f log to the base 10 so here you will get m2 gamma 2 divided by m1 gamma 1 so this is another equation okay so this is the emf of cell electrode concentration cell without transference this is and with transparency we will get 2 t, t minus here okay so uh, here we have seen the electrolyte concentration cell with transparency reversible to cations and how amp of cell is calculated okay so study this point uh, watch this uh, lecture again and again to get understood